Hi everyone, and welcome to the next video in this page from Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Johanna Basford using Polychromos pencils. Let's come straight in. We've got a largish image to do today. We may not do all of it though because I'm just looking. Some of it looks like it's joined. See this this ivy is actually joined to our border. We haven't done any of the border yet, so I may not do the ivy. But anyway, let's have a look. We do these leaves though. So let's start with these leaves. And then I've got an idea of what colour I'm going to do the ivy. Um, so I'm going to do these leaves in a different colour to what I'm planning for that. I think it makes sense. But let's get going and I've got a story. Remember I promised you yesterday. I'm going to start with a chromium green opaque and do the the ends of these, this end. I'm just going to put a layer down here, look. I want it to be quite thick here so I'm overlaying it and then less layers, a lighter touch to there. Okay, and I'm just going to go back over that a little bit to try and get a neater line like that. Okay. I'm going to do the same for them all, so I will tell you, so yes, last night, so I was telling you yesterday, if you were it tuned in yesterday, that we had, um, um, in the evening, our internet stopped working, but I was so tired, I went to sleep, and my son said he went to bed as well, um, he usually stays up late, but I'd asked him to get up early, because I was going to um, go to bed early, because I was going to get him up early anyway, so that was all good, um, but the thunderstorm in the night, it was so loud, um, I was absolutely dead tired because I'd only had three hours sleep the night before because of watching the election footage. And um, so the rain, I was woken up, I don't know whether I was woken up by the thunder or the rain. The thunder was so loud and the lightning was so bright and the um, rain was just um, battering down. Now, in our house, my son's up in the attic and you can hear the rain on the roof and on his Velux windows um, very loudly. So I could hear that. But I could also hear it on my window. Now, because our bedroom door's open, his stairs are right, the bottom of his stairs right by the, our bedroom door. So I could hear it coming down, the sound carrying down the stairs on from one side and then I could hear it battering on my bedroom window from the other side it was so loud and I didn't look outside husband got out and looked outside he said the road was like a river it was just running down our road slopes and the water just runs down it's good really you don't want it puddling so I'm just going to blow my nose um and uh, I was too tired to look outside but I got out and went to the loo because you know how it is once you've been woken up of when you're of a certain age you have to go to the loo and I came back and I put the curtains back together again because husband looks outside and he never properly um, shuts the curtains again and we've got a bright street lamp outside. So I put the curtains back together again and as I touched the curtains, the flash of lightning came through the cur um, through the little gap in the curtains. I was like, wow, and then the huge clap of thunder. If it had been in the daytime, I would have watched it. I love watching storms. It would have been amazing and fun, but I was tired so I just went back to sleep. I think it woken me up but once my brain knew what it was then I just went back to sleep. It doesn't, storms don't bother me, I enjoy them as I say, it's fine. <clears throat> I've fortunately never been in a nasty storm. If I was out in it, this is earth green yellowish, um, that would have been a different matter. So I'm going to go over the top of what I've done already and layer up more where there's less of the original colour, like this. And then just fade it off to the tip. Now, some people I know find leaves quite difficult to know what to do with. And I absolutely agree with you. What I've done here, and I'm going to put another bit of colour at the bottom after, is fine, but it doesn't look anything like a real leaf. I can't do realism on leaves. I just... I don't know, I've got a bit of a mental block when it comes to leaves. However, doing this, I think, is fine for me and hopefully for you too. Now, I have put together um, a chart for Kofi with um, some different colour combinations for leaves. So you can have a go at different things. Now, they are all 
um, I don't really want to use the word realistic because they aren't but they're all colours that you would probably find on a leaf at, in, at some point so they're browns and oranges and greens and a little bit of slight, slightly red-ish so they all work so that leaf combination sheet, as I say, it's on my Kofi. Um, the um, link to my Kofi is in my um, disc video description. Um, but if you go into Kofi, there are so many different giveaways. It can be quite freebies in the Kofi shop. It can be quite hard to find what you're looking for. So if you, I've got one for polychromos. So if you search for polychromos, there's a little search box you see. Um, if you put in the search you can find that but I've done one for a different pencil type as well because I was asked to but I'm trying to remember what it was it was Prismacolor but if you type in leaves then you might find them that way if there are any that you want I have been asked for another one um, I can't remember what pencil type it was so if there's any you want let me know um, I can do them um, yeah I don't mind I'm, I'm working on some comparison charts at the moment is quite a good thing to do I thought it would be a really good thing to do while watching tennis but it depends on the match if I'm just sort of glancing at a match and enjoying a few points and then keeping an eye on the score type thing then it's good but when I'm making comparison charts I need concentration because you don't want to accidentally swatch in the wrong place <laughs> because then you get um it, yeah it, it's a bit of a problem so um I uh, I have to be a bit careful, so it depends what I'm watching. Like today, there's a it's not a good match on until probably tea time, so I can finish the swatch chart that I've been working on. This is the burnt ochre. I'm going to use this on the tips, and what I'm going to do with this one is do it sort of opposite. So do more colour in the tip, and then just fade it in. Now you can do as much or as little as you like on the tip here. I'm just going to do a little bit, I think. Um, she says doing more. It just is up to you. Yeah. It just gives it a bit of warmth, I think. You may struggle to even see it. Depends what side. I mean, I'm struggling to see it on my, com on my camera screen, but my camera screen is about that big. Um, so it's about the size of this. So it's really hard to see. But uh, if you're watching this on a huge widescreen telly, you'll probably easily see it. And every mistake that I've made. <laughs> I do, I had to have someone saying, you know, you can see all your pencil marks and it's not very neat and all that sort of thing. And I'm like, I know. But um, it because I zoom in very closely, it's never going to look as good as if you stood back and looked from a million miles away. Um, because close, you know, it does show up every pencil mark and some people can, you know, spend so long on their work that you can't see any of the pencil lines and it looks perfectly neat but I just don't have that patience. And I hope that by being close and you seeing that it's not absolutely perfect it gives you a license to do the same thing. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, it should be fun. Now, where should we go next? I'm probably not going to do this ivy, as I said. I've decided I'm going to do it all together with the other ivy that's all round, say, here, and then at the bottom of the page. I can't show you because um, it's off the page. So I'm going to... We've got the bird and butterfly and background. Um, now, I've got... I can do a sort of fantasy, brightly coloured bird, or something more um, normal, maybe in browns or something like that. I'm trying to have a little think. I think I'm going to do shades of brown, but lots of shades of brown. I, I just fancy whoops, doing it that way. I'm quite cold. I'm tempted to go and get a cardigan. Um, this is brown ochre. It is the, is it the 6th of July today? I think so. Is it the 5th? I don't know. Yes, yeah, the 6th of July today recording this. So for this bit on the head, I'm going to start to fade it there and then put a bit more here. So you can see I'm just layering it up and a bit less there. So we've got a sort of lighter and darker areas. Now I'm going to move to my next brown right away and I might have to come back and use some of the same browns after. 
This is the Vista. Oh, it's quite short, this one, isn't it? I'm just going to do it here. Um, yes, yeah, so it's the 6th of July. Why did I say that? Why was I telling you what the date was? I've got no idea. What's the matter with me? Uh, here is the raw umber. Now there's a yeah, there's a football match. England are playing in the European. It's um for you Americans it's what you call soccer. What we used to call soccer back in the day, but now we call it football. Interesting. But anyway, um yeah, it's uh I'm, I think I'd do it darker here as well. Um yeah, so England are playing um Switzerland, that's right. Burnt Sienna. Husband was watching last night. Um, because the Burnt Sienna is a, quite a different brown to the rest, I'm going to use it for a few little bits. So here I'm going to make it darker here, a bit lighter across here. Um, yeah, last night um, France beat Portugal. You know, it's a big shock because Ronaldo... I don't know how many people know about football. It's Portugal's big star. But the problem is that it feels like sometimes he's their only sort of star player. And he's getting older. He missed a penalty the other day, which was... Uh, him. He cried. Um, but uh, I feel like, you know, the team needs to... They need to come up with some new players, really. But anyway, I'm obviously an expert. <laughs> Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to use that for this big area here. So what are we going to do with this? I think I'm sort of guided by these dots that maybe this bit is darker all the way along here. So I'm going to sort of layer up this bit. Yeah, and then the French player, he's got a... He's broken his nose, but he needs an operation, but he can't have it because then he wouldn't be able to play. So he wears the sort of mask to protect it. And England are being criticised because they're playing so badly. And yet they topped their group stage and um, um, have won, won their next match. So I think have they played a knockout match yet. I don't know. Anyway, I don't think they have. So, you know, I don't know enough. I thought they were all right. But anyway, did better than I could, that's for sure fiddling around with my pencil, sorry. Right, the next one we're going to use is the new card. This is a nice new one. Um, I'm going to do all these with the new card. I'm just going to sharpen it because I'm going to do each one. You would have seen me do this before. I don't know why I haven't done his face yet. Are you thinking that? I was just thinking that. Why haven't I done this face? I don't know. So in here and then left. Yeah, so the news yesterday was all quite exciting because we had we had a lot going on yesterday because um because after the election a new got a new prime minister, a new party got elected. What happens in the UK quickly is that we vote for our local representative to sit in the House of Commons and they usually represent a party, occasionally as an independent. And once that party, once a party gets enough representatives to form a majority, then they they will form the government. So we switched. Um, we have been a Conservative or Tory government for 14 years. And yesterday it switched back to a Labour government. Um, our, 14 years ago we did have a Labour government so um, you know we've had one before but obviously um, burnt umber it's not the same I'm going to do the face with this I don't know what I'm going to do with the face I'm going to put a light layer all over so we've you know it's a different leader now to the party than it was different lots of different people so uh, I think I'm going to do it darker at the bottom and just fade it up um, so it'll be so we've got lots of new MPs that have never sat as MPs before and some old ones that got re-elected. 
or ones that maybe were in Parliament a while ago and have come back, that sort of thing. Walnut Brown, and we've got a new new Prime Minister, um, Sukhir Starmer, and we'll find out. I mean, it's always a bit difficult because, you know, we, he's never done it before, so we don't know what to expect. And there's so much expectation. And, you know, I think... The, the new party will come in saying we want to do this and change this and putting a bit of shadow under the feathers here but because they've never been in charge before they haven't had access to an understanding of how all the systems work in the country I mean some of the people in their party may have done because they may have been around for a long time when they were in charge before but it's easy to say we want to change this, that and the other, but until you know how those things work, you don't necessarily know whether it's possible to change them. So it will be interesting to see. For the feathers, I'm going to make it dark here and fade it towards the middle, and then dark here and fade it towards the middle, like that, and have a sort of, hopefully, make it look like it's got a bit of a lighter bit in the centre. I'm going to just... Um, so we don't know whether they're going to be able to do what they say. Obviously, I'm sure it's the true in all countries. They make all these promises saying we're going to, when we get elected, we're going to do this, that and the other. But either world events influence the country so they can't necessarily do everything they wanted or it's just not as easy as they wanted or there isn't the money to do it, things like that. I don't necessarily castigate the people in charge for going against what they've said they're going to do because I realise that it just isn't always possible. If they downright lie and promise something they know they can't do, that's not on. But I think sometimes they have said, we're going to do this, and then they go, oh, whoops, we can't. I'm going to go back to, oh, the Bista. Remember the Bista we use just for this really teensy bit here? I'm going to use it for the tail. So, you know, it's not always possible to do what you say you're going to do. But, well, I'm just waiting to see, really. You know, I haven't been an, a sort of avid observer of politics for that long, really. Um, I wasn't always that interested in it. So I don't really remember, also not really having the time, so I don't really remember what it was like when we had the last Labour government, really, even though I was old enough for 14 years ago, you know, it wasn't that long ago. It feels like a long time ago. So I'm just interested to see. And also, this this Labour Party is going to be a bit different to the last one that was in. As I said before, there's different people in charge, there's different people in there. Some of them will be the same. So, you know, we'll see what happens. And we've got a new representative in our town as well. Um... So it'll be interesting to see what sort of things he decides to get behind and try to influence in the town. Because they have a certain amount of power. I'm trying to make it a bit darker at the bottom, but it's not working. I'm going to put another colour on top. I'm going to use the brown ochre and just put it here. Just try and make it look a bit shadowy on the bottom. Um, yeah, he has different projects that he's interested in compared to our last one. Um, she was interested in sorting out um, the railway station access, the a particular building that was derelict. She wanted to get that sorted out. She was, um, there was another big project. I was just trying to help her, a skateboarding um, place that had closed down and something else I can't remember. So she had those projects. He's not, a, he's not interested in any of those projects as far as I could tell. I'm using the warm grey five now to do the body of our little butterfly. Um, but he's interested, he's a GP. Uh, he says he's going to work, still work half a day a week. I don't know how he's going to find the time to do that. But anyway, um, he's, um, he's, so he's interested in, I'm going to do the butterfly orange because I think orange and brown works nicely together. Um, and I like orange butterflies. This is dark cadmium orange I'm going to start with. And he wants to help get more free dentist. Well, it's not free. NHS, the National Health Service, have dentists. Um, we've got one in 
our town and it's fully booked. I'm very lucky to be a patient. Once you've booked as a patient, you can stay with them. But if you're, they're not taking on new patients, this is cadmium orange. There are private dentists as well, but they're much more expensive. For example, NHS dentist to have um, a checkup, I think it cost me £35. And to have the hygienist cost me £55. When I was living in a different town and I had a private dentist, I remember having a checkup and hygienist and it cost me um, £100. And that was like 30 years ago. This is dark cadmium yellow and finish off our butterfly. So it's quite quite a difference. Um, so the it's much cheaper. Although the um, I still have to pay a bit. There's no such thing as free dentistry for most people here now. If you're on um, certain benefits, um, I think you can get a cut a free um sort of treatment card um now background i want to do this as if it's sky now we've done a sky one on our house before um i'm going to do this one in a different shade of blue and i'm just going to start and see where it takes me so i'm going to get the light thalo blue and i'm just going to do it all over and just see how i feel about it um yeah so there's children until they leave full-time education up until the age of 19 can get free dentistry. Mine will get it this time, but that will be the last time um, when they have their checkup. And then I'll have to start paying for them until they get a job. Um, if you're a particularly low income family or on certain benefits, you can get an exemption certificate. You get it free. And that also applies to eye tests. Um, eye tests you can get free if you're diabetic if you I think if you have a family history of glaucoma like I do my dad's got it um, or if you're of a low income again you can get free eye tests and free prescriptions my son gets free prescriptions because he's got epilepsy you get, uh, people with epilepsy get free prescriptions um, I think people with diabetes might, but um, other people don't. My prescriptions are quite good, really, because they cost about £10, £9. And you can only have one item, that's per item on the prescription. But compared to the cost of the actual drug, it's a lot better. And so occasionally, medication is cheaper than the prescription cost, and your GP will usually tell you. As I've had, to, I I have a bit of medication, and my GP says if you, gosh, that was a loud train. If you, um, if he said to me, if you go to um, um, X chemist and buy their own brand of this, then it's cheaper than having it on prescription. So uh, I would recommend you do that. And he wrote it down for me what I needed, so I made sure I got the right thing, and I just took it to the pharmacist and said, can I buy this? And that was all good. And now I just get it all the time. I don't have to bother going to the doctor. And, you know, it's, I have been back because it does say on it, you shouldn't take it for more than 30 days without consulting your doctor. But I went to my doctor and said, look, I've finished taking this. My symptoms have come back. He's like, yep, you have to take it for the rest of your life. Off you go. I was like, okay. <laughs> but I don't take it all the time. It's, um, it's a, a, I think it's, it's an allergy thing. Um, so I just take it when I feel I need it and I sometimes take a half dose, sometimes take a whole dose because it's not a strong medication, I can fiddle around with it whereas obviously, um, and it's off the shelf, it's not a, a strong thing um, whereas, um, you know, obviously like my son's medication he if he forgets to take it, we have to tell our doctor immediately you know, it, it's much, uh, much, uh, a much different medic type of medication which we're going to try and get him off actually because it's oh it's, it's messing with his head literally anyway different different story but um anyway um so that's how our sort of free but we can get we get you can get a free gp appointment and uh which is good but waiting times are quite long like my parents if they want to see their favorite doctor um they have a three-week wait 
in my surgery but but in the county that we live which they do too you can phone your surgery and say i need an emergency gp appointment and they'll say well as long as you don't mind who you see you can come and get an emergency in my in my practice you they'll call you in they'll say okay come in at x time after the morning surgery or after the evening surgery is finished and just sit and wait and as soon as the doctor becomes free they will see you so you just sit and wait so you have phoned up first or you can go in in person and you just sit and wait for an appointment so that's rather good um and it's all free you know so uh that's what we're trying to protect the and that's what the new government are promising that they would improve this because in some regions you can't do that you phone up they have a certain amount of emergency appointments and once they're filled up then they're gone and that's the end of it you can't get one you have to wait and try and get one the next day and uh it's a really weird system presumably it's because they just don't have the staff a lot of gps don't work full time um I rather like this just being quite plain. I'm just going to go back through it and colour over some of the areas that I think are a little bit messy or pale. But I'm not going to make it darker. I quite like it as it is. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, they're trying to just improve systems. But apparently our county is in the worst 10% of all um, NHS areas although we seem to be able to see a GP when it comes to um, going to a hospital the A&E is just appalling you know I went there with my son quite a while ago and it's getting worse and we waited five hours before anyone even assessed him you know I mean we did go in by ambulance so the ambulance crew had assessed him so they knew he was okay but they didn't even come and take his blood pressure or assess him and decide what sort of um, help he needed before for five hours which is a long time to wait um, I was just patient and waiting because it's not the staff's fault you know um, there's no good getting cross about it they can't do anything about it but um, it needs to be improved but obviously from higher up anyways I am going to leave this so obviously I haven't done the leaves but I'm going to what I think I will do is actually come back tomorrow and do all the leaves all the borders and leaves and then on the last day would do the one below the bird if that makes sense so because then we'll sort of finish this one off because it looks really unfinished but that's you know that that's because of the way I've done it so yes tomorrow I'm going to come back and do all the leaves um, the borders and then we'll have one final picture so I hope that is okay but thank you um, for watching um, hope you have a really super day and happy colouring <laughs>